Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Susilowati. I'm an excellent Bobby enthusiast with decades of business experience. How often have you found yourself copying and pasting data from Power BI to PowerPoint presentation? Do you do it once a month and then do you have to do it offer and offer again every single month after that? If so, isn't that a pain? Well, today I'm going to show you a new Power BI feature called Power BI Storytelling, which will enable us to integrate Power BI and PowerPoint and prepare a seamless integrated presentation, which will avoid the need to copy and paste. In order to enable this feature, we must first go to PowerPoint and get Microsoft Power BI add-in. Let's go to PowerPoint and go to add-ins. If you already have Microsoft Power BI add-in, all you need to do is click this. But if you can't see Microsoft Power BI add-in, what you need to do is first get the add-in by clicking get add-in. And then this window will come up and then search for Power BI in here, type Power BI, hit search. And then select the second one, something that says Microsoft Power BI enhanced storytelling with data by easily including Power BI reports into your presentation. Click Add, and then hit Continue. Once you have done that, you will see something popping up in here that allows you to select URL from Power BI over here. And in addition to that, Power BI will also show up in the My Add-in drop-down box. Next, go to Power BI Service that you want to integrate to your PowerPoint presentation and click Share PowerPoint and copy the URL by clicking Copy. You can also click Open in PowerPoint, which will open a brand new PowerPoint. But if you already have an existing PowerPoint, best to just copy the link. Once you have copied the link, go to your PowerPoint and paste the link there. Just press Ctrl V and hit insert and watch. Mm, something will happen very shortly. The Power BI report is now integrated with your PowerPoint. You can make it bigger, just click and drag. So I'm going to just delete that. And now we have Power BI page integrated with your PowerPoint and this report is interactive. So if you select Labor, for example, notice how everything is dynamically updated, all the charts over there. You can sort, for example, that's working, or you can select cities and that's working as well. You can change the month. The filtering over here works as well. And in addition to that, there are additional features which I found super useful. For example, you can show or hide the filter pane. For example, that filter now disappear. And then if you click it one more time, it will open up the filter pane. So if your report is designed so that we have filters to display for users to play around, it will be displayed in there and they're all working. So I'm going to just hide it because we don't have anything. And then there is also option to refresh to get the latest data from Power BI. So next month, when new information becomes available, just click this and you don't have to copy and paste one more time. Every information is there. Yep. And then you have other options such as Spotlight. For example, if you want to present this table and you want to zoom in user attention to a particular part of your Power BI report, you can use the Spotlight. And then if you want to, you can reset everything back to original by clicking that reset button. And we will go back to the normal view. There is an um, option to clear the data, to basically delete the report. You don't want to hit this button and also some tips to use Power BI, which I'm not going to click. What I found useful is this link in here. Power BI has created a link so that if you click this, it will take you to the original Power BI surface where we previously published the report. You can also go to other pages if you want to and explore different elements of the reports during the presentation. So it is nice and handy. You don't have to scratch your head and think, oh, where did I get this data from? I cannot remember. With that link, Power BI makes things really, really easy for you. So you can then explore other charts, for example, which will 
or may become handy during your presentation. Now I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. There is one more thing that I want to show you and it's this chevron sign on the right. You can click that and you can click this option show as safe image. And when you do that, this Power BI snapshot is now turned into an image. What does that mean? It means that it's no longer interactive. It's just like a picture. But the beauty is if you change your mind and you want it to become Power BI live version again, you can still untick it and just watch it is transformed back to the original embedded version. Just give it a couple of seconds and then voila, can you see? Yeah, we've got our charts back and it is still interactive as well. Yeah. So I'm really, really loving this new feature and I'm super excited about using it in my next PowerPoint presentation, my next Power BI show and tell. Tell me what you think. I hope you get excited about this new feature and I hope you find it useful as well. See you next time.